What is happening guys? Welcome back to Red Beer's Garage and today we're going to be putting together the 13 through 16 horsepower Mud Skipper Feather Light Surface Drive Kit. Now we did the seven horse a while back on Braxton, my brother-in-law's boat, and we had a great time with the thing. He used it a ton and had absolutely no problems and I really wanted to try out the big block kit. So we got a Predator 420cc engine. Mud Skipper does have engines on their website but we decided to go with the Predator because we know what performance parts fits it and we know everything about these engines, so we have parts on the shelf for it already. This kit, of course, is gonna come with everything you need to install this on a John boat, and we found a $300 gym on Facebook. This is a 14-foot semi-V bottom boat, so it's V in the front, flat in the back, and I thought this was a great boat for me and my son to get back into fishing. We haven't fished in years, and we need to take more time to do so, so this is the perfect kit. Now, I will be installing a V-twin kit later, but we wanted to try it in each step. Since we've already did the seven horse, we thought we would go with the 13 horse. Since this engine is a 13 horse, we will be doing a few modifications, not too much to it uh, later on in a later video to make it push around 16 to 18 horse to maximize this kit to its full potential. So we're gonna put this together on the bench because we do have to rebuild the transom and put seats and everything in the boat. So I figured I would go ahead and get this kit put together so it's ready to go when the boat's ready. Make sure to check out the links in the video's description for this kit, their seven horsepower kit and their V-twin. Uh, so let's get into it, show you how to do it. We're gonna put every tool you're gonna need and show you parts step-by-step step that you need to put this kit together. So let's get into it and let's get closer to being on the water. First, I'm gonna place the transom mount on my makeshift transom. Mount the engine base pivot and the plate to the transom mount and use the included Loctite on the plate bolts. Next, I'll be preparing the drive housing and the tail assembly. Remove the nuts on the lower studs and the four bolts in the midsection of the housing, then remove the clutch cover bolts. Use the included silicone on the flange of the tail assembly and smooth down. Place on the gasket and do a top layer of silicone before mounting the tail shaft to the drive housing. Torque the nuts to 12 foot pounds. Mount the tail support brace to the housing and the tail shaft. I can now install the engine onto the base. You need to decide what side you want your tiller handle and install the handle mount on that side of the engine. Slide on the one inch spacer washer and key into the crankshaft of the engine. Now we can mount our housing to the engine block. Install one of the included hex bolts finger tight into the block. With one of the bolts installed, we can lift the housing up into the side to give enough slack in the belt to slide on our clutch onto the crankshaft. Install the remaining bolt into the block.
Install the center housing bolts and the plate in the center housing. Leave these bolts loose when adjusting the belt tension. Once the belt tension is adjusted, we can tighten all six bolts on the engine mount and also bolt down the engine. Use Loctite on the clutch bolt and torque down. Install the clutch cover to the housing. Now we can install the tiller handle into the mount and tighten the lock bolt. This handle will probably have to be adjusted once on the bolt. Feed the kill switch wires through the cutout in the handle and install the throttle cable into the lever. Mount the kill switch and feed the throttle cable into the handle. Remove the air filter box lid and filter to access the throttle assembly. Install the throttle cable housing into the hold down. Removing the factory throttle stop screw will ensure we get all the RPMs out of this engine. Make sure to loosen the 10 millimeter nut to free up the throttle arm movement. Install the throttle cable into the stop nut and tighten. You may have to adjust the cable stop nut once the engine is running to get maximum RPMs. I had to extend the kill switch wires to reach the other side of the engine. Ground the ring terminal to the lower bolt on the kill switch box and unplug the yellow wire in the factory harness. This is the oil sensor wire and it will not be used in our application. We can plug in our other side of the kill switch wire here. I use Amsoil break in oil on a new engine to help seat the rings and break the engine in. Put a few pumps of grease into the tail assembly and we're ready to start the engine up. So guys, that's how you put together the 13 through 16 horsepower feather light surface drive kit from Mud Skipper. Super easy, you can do it in just a few hours. Uh, it does help to have a friend's help just to hold up like the surface drive housing and stuff, but it's really sim simple to do, simple hand tools, and I can't wait to get this thing installed on the boat. Now, the next time that you see this kit, we'll be putting a new transom on our boat, and then we'll be mounting this on there and also maybe building the deck and doing some accessories to get it out on the water. We're super pumped about this. Our last kit was a seven horse and it did around 14 to 15 miles per hour. And we're hoping this will do around 20. And then we have a few performance modifications and longevity parts. I believe we're gonna install a billet rod into this engine, the billet flywheel with the electric start ring and also do the open air filter and a little higher flow and exhaust. And that should bump us up to the, about the 16 to 17 horsepower range uh, i don't want to do much more than that we felt like when we built the engine on the seven horse kit we just added more problems more than anything because that kit was just designed designed for around seven to you know nine horsepower 
we was pushing about 14 with that engine and it started wearing belts faster so we're not going to do as much to this engine mostly just longevity parts and just buff it up a little bit maybe you know three to four horsepower so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check out the links in the video description where you can find all the parts that we're using on this boat and uh stay tuned for the boat reveal and build so thank you guys so much for watching we love you guys and god bless